Kia ora, kodia, ho, haramai. Welcome to today's five minute makerspace. We're going to make a sun clock today. And to do that, we're going to need some pieces of stiff cardboard. You're going to need two types of compass, your regular compass, compass, north and south. And we need a compass with a pencil attached. You're going to need a vivid or a marker pen, a, a protractor, and a roller. Come in, let's take a closer look. Make a start by setting your compass to 10 centimetres diameter. Then draw this on one of your pieces of cardboard. Also draw that on a second piece of cardboard. Just check it again, just to make sure the compass hasn't moved. cut those both out. Take your ruler again and set your compass for seven centimetres. Using one of your circles, draw an inner circle. And again, cut that out. Bring back in your other circle. Draw a centre line across the middle. Then align your ruler and make a mark at four and a half centimetres and thirteen and a half centimetres. Add parallel lines between the two marks on either side, about a millimetre apart. cut that segment out. Now bring in another couple of pieces of card. Make sure you've got a straight edge with which to work with to start with. On both pieces, measure nine centimetres from the bottom corner and make a mark. Now, measure two centimetres along the lines that you've just drawn. This is going to form the tab. Measure two centimetres from the other end so they're exact. And draw a straight line across. Now take your protractor. Line it up with the second line. And make a mark at 45 degrees. Draw a line from the edge through that point and to the line at the top. Cut out these triangles. You're now going to need to join these two together. Make sure you fold over the tab before you start. You might want to make a little bit of a score line before you do that.
Now join these both together. You'll then want to make sure that you can push the triangular piece through the slot that you've made in your original circle. Fold the back pieces over and glue them down. Once that's dry, glue the other circular piece to the bottom. Now comes the interesting part, where it's time to add the hour lines to our sun clock or sundial. You've set it up as follows. The upright part here is called the gnomon. The shadow cast by the gnomon moves as the sun travels across the sky. You'll need a compass, like this one, to align the gnomon to north or south pole, depending on where you're located. And for the rest, follow the slides that follow. You'll also need a clock and quite a bit of time to monitor. You'll also need a ruler and a vivid to mark the lines on your sundial. And then you can test it out. Your sundial will end up looking something like the next slide. Thanks for joining us for today's activity. Please join us again. Kakite.